All right, students, today's lesson, we are going to focus on the neuron. And we're going to specifically uh, focus on taking notes about the structures, which are the parts of the neuron, and the functions, which are the jobs that those uh, the, the parts do in the, the neuron itself. So here's a diagram of all the parts. There's the dendrites are the is number one. Uh, number two, oh, I, I, I see they're down way down there. These are misnumbered, so I'm not going to even talk about that. But anyway, the structures are the parts of the neuron, and we're going to go through the parts, and we're going to talk about what those parts do. All right, let's start with the, with the parts of the neuron. The first part of the neuron is the dendrite, the dendrite. So those, those are like little finger things. They act like wire connectors between neurons. So they receive the electro, electrical impulse from another neuron and they pass it on to our second part. So dendrites, fill in the blank for dendrites. You can pause the video now and write that down. Let's move on to the second part. The second part is the nucleus. The nucleus acts like the brain of the, the cell and determines whether the electrical impulse will go through or not. It also stores the DNA. The DNA allows the cells to reproduce themselves and, and grow new cells. So it's really, that's a really important part of the, uh, the neuron. You can pause the video and write down nucleus. Next is the cell body. The cell body encompasses or it is this part right here the whole part of it around there it's got what's called a membrane in it and a membrane allows some stuff to come through and then keeps other things out so it protects the cell and um, keeps it from getting damaged it also allows water to come through and blood to go through and nutrients to go through so it feeds the cell You can pause the video and write down cell body. The next part is the axon HELOC. It's kind of like the neck right there of the cell. It's, it's the transition point between the cell body and the Schwann cells. It acts as a gate and either sends on electrical impulse um, to the rest of the cell, the axon, this thing right here, it acts like the wire, or it blocks that signal and the, the signal dies. So it acts like a gate. So you can stop and write axon HELOC down. Next is the Schwann cell. This is a really important part of the neuron. It, it's, it's a kind of a semi-cell that's inside of the cell, and its job is to produce what we call myelin or the myelin sheath. And that the myelin sheath is really important to the cell because it, it creates insulation and keeps the signal from um, kind of going, flying out of the neuron. It keeps it on its path. So the Schwann cell builds that myelin, which is the insulation. You can stop the video and write down Schwann cell. The next part is the most important part, I think, of the cell, and it's the biggest discovery in um, brain research, and that's myelin. Myelin is the actual insulation around the uh, neuron's axon, and it speeds up the, uh, the transmission of the, elect of the electromagnetic uh, waves that go through, or the uh, electricity, right? It speeds that up and allows you to access memories and uh, do functions uh, by how thick it is. So you can pause the video, write down myelin. Next is the axon terminal, and that's just simply, a terminal means the end. So this, the cell this, uh, transmits this message through the cell and then out the axon terminals to the other cells. So you can stop the video and write axon terminal. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to fill in this table. 
And, and we're going to fill in what the parts are. I talked about them just a minute ago as I was explaining the other uh, the parts. But now you're going to take notes and you're going to write it in. So I'll, I will uh, tell you what the part is. Again, remind you of the part. You fill in the functions now. And then we'll, by the time we're done, you'll have all of the parts functions written down. All right, the first function is we're going to talk about is the dendrites. Um, they receive electrical signals from other neurons. <coughs> so they're the receiver, and they pass the, the message on to the cell, um, the cell body, basically. Okay, so pause the video, write this down. Receives electrical signals from other neurons. And there can be hundreds of them. So you should have that written down now if you don't have it written down. I'm going to do this every time. So you can pause the video at any point. Um, I have it written down here so you can pause it at this point. Write it down in your worksheet. Okay. You can pause it. All right. Let's go into the next part. The next part was the nucleus. And like I said a minute ago, the nucleus is like the brain of the cell. And it contains the DNA. When, a cell, when cells grow, we reproduce cells, the, the DNA actually splits and the cell divides in the, in the middle, from the middle, and creates a new cell. This is where it happens, in the nucleus. So the nucleus is like the brain for the cell and it contains the DNA. So you should have that written down if you haven't written it down. You can pause the video now and write it down. Let's move on to the next part, the cell body. Okay, the cell body um, takes in nutrients. That's energy, oxygen, and water, and keeps the neuron functioning. It has a membrane in it, and a membrane just simply is a, is a substance that allows some chemicals to come through but blocks others. So it provides protection for the cell, but it also allows nutrients, food, water, and oxygen to come into the cell to keep it alive. All right. So the next part is the axon HELOC. And the axon HELOC is like the neck of the, the, the cell, the, the place part between the cell body and the Schwann cells in the axon that, that creates the impulse and acts as a gate. So it's, if the cell wants to send the impulse on, it sends it through. If it doesn't, it stops it. So it acts like a gate. So it creates impulses and acts as a gate to send out um, of the neuron. All right, so you should have the axon HELOC filled in. If you don't, you can write it down from here. The next part is the Schwann cell. The Schwann cell is very, very, very important. This, the Schwann cell produces what we call myelin, or the myelin sheath that insulates the neuron. When you learn something new, the brain uh, switches resources or it gives energy to cells that are working. And what the cells do is they produce more myelin. And the thicker that the myelin gets on the um, axon, the faster the impulses or the messages go through them. So the thicker the myelin, basically the smarter or the quicker you can access information from those neurons. So the Schwann cell is what makes that. So let's write that down. The myelin or the Schwann cell produces the myelin sheath that insulates the neuron. And I, I wrote this down. The, the, it produces myelin, the sheath that insulates the axon that allows electrical impulses to pass through. All right, let's go to the myelin sheath. We just basically talked about that, um, but let's go on anyway. All right, the myelin sheath is the insulation coating on the axon that increases the speed of the impulse transfer. So 
um, when you you grow, when the um, Schwann cell produces more myelin, it it coats the basic the, the the wire that's going through the neuron, and it allows the impulse to go faster. So if you practice, 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 you, these this part of the cell starts to grow, and then that those cells. Um, can pass messages faster and faster and faster through there. So you can answer questions, you can play a guitar better, you can play a sport better, um, you may be able to um, calculate math uh, problems faster. The myelin sheath is thicker. So write that down. If you want to pause it, you can pause it and write that down. And then the last part of the neuron is the axon terminal. The word terminal means ending, right? So if we have a bus terminal or a train terminal, that means that the bus, that bus or the train is stopping there. This is kind of what that axon terminal does, but it's it, it terminates it from the, the neuron, but it also passes it on to the next neuron and allows the next neuron to absorb that electrical energy too. So literally thousands of, um, neurons are connected with each other and these signals are going back and forth and like we played the, our, our game the other day with the, where the neurons are passing through uh, the nerve um, the axon terminal acts as that that gateway or that connection to the next cell so okay the so axon terminal forms junctions which are really just connections with other cells and passes the electrical impulse to another neuron. And now fill in the blank for that. Forms junction connections with the cells and passes on electrical impulses on the neurons. You should be, you should have your uh, papers filled out right now and glue them into your composition book. On, on two pages right next to each other. And here's just a, a diagram of all of the parts, right? You got the dendrites first, cell body, cell membrane, and cell body, the axon HELOC. We have the nodes of Ranvier, which we didn't talk about, but those are just um, little uh, spaces in between the, the Schwann cells and the myelin. And then you have there's a picture of the soma up there, which, you know, um, contains the cell body and the nucleus. Okay, and then the axon, which is this a little electrical wire, and then we have the axon terminal at the end. That is it. You guys have completed your notes for the day.